What's up guys, it's Brent back here, and we're going back into some more Slay the Spire modded. So, last time, oh last time, went in with the silent, and we had such a good run, two, two good runs, like back to back, um, that were, like, had the potential to be really fun, but man, Joker is a thing. We're gonna go, go in with the defect this time, see if we can put on some more damage apparently, or frost, I don't know. We had a little bit of success with the frost, so I'm tempted. Oh, I transformed two cards to start with. Could be good. Early shop, though. 100 extra gold can matter. Or the random ego card. La 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 la. Okay. Thinking about it. We got a shop right here. Then we can continue up. Some question marks. Floor feels a little short. There's a bunch of, like... Elites and stuff. Go two question marks. Elite. We could do a very heavy elite path. Right at the beginning. Get plenty of rests. Early question marks. I'm thinking one, two, cut across. Downside is we're giving up the shop to do elites. Let's take the ego. But, hey, there's one off of our least favorite elite, Latia. First zero or one cost card you play this turn is played twice. What's the upgrade on that? I'm feeling a claw build. Refund one. Interesting, interesting. Um, actually it doesn't matter. I'll go up this way. I could go left and go across, but we're just gonna go straight up. See our man, the forsaken murderer here. Ah, I'm excited. To, well, not the most excited. It's a Thursday. It's almost Friday. So, um, that's exciting as always. Put the zap twice, get full lightning here. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's Friday. Exciting. I mean, it's Thursday. It's exciting because tomorrow is Friday. Um, got a weekend planned. I'm thinking I'm going to go see that um, that new movie. Uh, no, no. If it's close. Um, the free, it's free guy, I think. Uh, I don't know if it'll be any good. Oh, uh, uh, um. Get the kill on this one. Um, I don't know if it'd be any good, but it does have um, Ryan Reynolds. He's a good actor, so I'm pretty optimistic on the movie itself. So we'll see, though. Uh, I don't know yet. I will let you know come, I guess, Saturday or Sunday if I record Sunday, which is undetermined yet. Just trying to get through today. Uh, Beam Cell is still gonna claw deck, and it kind of synergizes what we got go with what we got going on right now. I really want that claw. And there it is. Okay. So claws incentivize, incentivize um, smaller decks. Now, I want to prepare this time. Overexertion is good, but I don't really have anything to use the energy on currently. Honestly, let's try to prepare this time. We've not really done that yet. Um, Claw does not matter as much on the upgrade. Two vulnerability is good. This giving the refund is also good. But Zep for free I think is just a little better. I think that's the, the move I want to make here. Latia here. Fall twice because that should, I think, go ahead and upgrade it. Like more. I think. I think it gives you two triggers of the, up, uh, the upgrade. Double Zap. Vulnerability here. Ugh. I was hoping for some more defense. You can play through the whole hand, so actually he's just dead. I was concerned. Another claw. There we go. Uh, Smith here. That being free. Eh. I think I'll go with the upgrade on the beam cell so we can stack it. Pretty good usually. Now the things we're looking for right now is like claw rake. Um, if that is the correct name of it. Uh, we also want to to defend here um which is i think an aoe for the claw build um it's either an aoe or um it's what's, what's the word i'm thinking of it does more damage i think or, or scales faster it has some advantage uh which i cannot remember off the top of my head currently um but it is worth doing extra damage in here on the 33 we might be able to with a good hand we might be able to deal some good damage here 10 this is 11 16 there we go eternal feather okay whenever we enter heal you know, when we in, yeah when we enter the rest site pretty good recursion evoke the next orb now 
Not what I thought it was. Oh, spiders. Ugh, gross. Um, okay. This one does a big attack whenever something dies. We don't really have the energy muddle the two highest cost cards. Cannot be. Nope. Okay. We're gonna go for the backliner. But I know we still have to kill the spooters, unfortunately. So that's not gonna be great. But if we can knock this one down, I think we gain the advantage of it won't do a big attack. Uh, that here. Uh, um, I think I want more zap. I might have wanted to defend actually. Thinking about it in hindsight. But one attack should kill the last one. HP's gonna be low, and we have another elite fight. So hopefully it does not go too poor poorly here. Uh, we cannot attack. That's fine. Still got that down. Um, go for the defend. We should be able to coast through the rest of this fight now. And webbing. Okay. Yep, here's the claws. Fall. Oh, we did it twice. That was my bad. Um, defense five. Yeah, they're dead. Got plenty of lightning. Which I like as a supplemental um, card to the deck. Well, supplemental ability. Tuning fork is not great, but it's fine. Ooh, and the elite is the all around helpers here. Um, they're not the worst, not the best to deal with. Guess we'll go for that. Need to get out our big cards. Oh, we are on much lower HP than I was quite expecting. We do have a rest next, if we make it that far. Uh, go for the eyes for the weakness. Latia here, and I, I want to go for the damage, honestly, unfortunately. Actually, I'm going to go for the beam. Uh, oh, we're about dead, honestly. Uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, we can play everything, so I just got to decide what order will be best. I think it's beam cell first, then claw, then evoke. Yeah, so we're gonna take 12 here. We'll be down to three. So we kind of have to kill this one next turn. It shouldn't be hard. It's the next, the turn afterwards. Um, going for the high risk play. Oh, no, we're not. We have, oh, they're vulnerable. Um, there should be six on them. So we need 34 or full block. And they're doing 22. Uh, okay. We just have to kill them. Yep. Which we, I think we can. We close. Yeah, we got this. All right. High risk, high reward. So, onion ring. Gain three strength at the start of combat. Lose three strength over the next couple turns. Have to go for the eyes for the weakness. Uh, also to get beneficial healing here. Up to 12. We're going to rest and get up to 34 here. Just to be on the safe side. Zap is good. Beam cell is also good. I like that our deck is pretty low cost um, and low investment, so we just need some a, a supplemental draw engine would be very good here. But besides that, I think we're kind of off on the races. Yep, because there we go. Got it again. Um, honestly, I'll, I'll take a charge battery. We need something to spend the energy on anyway, so not too disappointed to have that. I think, yeah, next will be some, maybe some cool headed. Um, Funeral of the Dead Butterflies. Obtain an upgraded... No, I'd rather lose the max HP. Actually, a much better proposition here for the uh, claw build. And we're up to 50... 50 HP right now. Uh, two weeks on the go for the ice is pretty huge. Bigger block, though, is also pretty, pretty sizable. I think the weakness will matter more though for stacking it up. I guess the only downside is if we come into a time where they don't attack. Also, I thought this was the ma the music man. It's not like here. These are not as good currently. They're still damaged though, so I'm not going to um, knock them. All right, there's the grinding gears. Downside is we do not have a good way to deal with these. So we gotta keep that in mind. Strike you, defend. You do not retain, so. Oh no, you do retain. I gotta look at the top right, that's the problem. Okay. Yeah, big turn here. Uh, I don't wanna play that twice, so what we're gonna do is. Latia here. Zap, play it twice. Grinding gears is good. 
Gotta defend back, he's stunned. Beam cell, claw, and there we go. Still taking a sizable bit, but we have a full suite of orbs now. Which to me matters a bunch for dealing uh, overall damage. Double weakness here. Do that. Yep, and we got plenty of energy now to continue doing things. Should be as easy as just trying to like ride out the fight. There's another grinding gears. Claws are not growing as quickly as I would like. Honestly, I could have uh, been convinced to go we'll play out a dual cast here. Um, play the defend twice. Might have actually made more sense. They're also exhausting cards out of our deck. Oh, they're getting added to the machine. That's actually not too bad. Um, claw here. Double claw. All right, they are dead next turn or the end of this turn, maybe. Yeah, next turn, more than likely. All right, another wound. This thing has a ton of cards. Um, card battery here is gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna go for the stun. Give me this card back. Yeah. Beam cell for two. Not really that great. You're still doing it, but I'm, I know I'm gonna kill you, so let's. Yeah, let's strike here. Dap it in rotation. Let's get the vulnerability on the back line. And it should be pretty quick. Just, yeah, claw, claw. Oh man, yeah, they are weak. Ooh, run card from the singing machine. That's fine. Strike here. Another strike. They're down. Not terrible. Still took a beating, but not bad. RNG, channel X random orbs. I do like this. And the artwork on this is amazing. I actually don't even know. I guess this is supposed to be the lightning orb. Looks a little green to me, which could be my eyes broken or um, just the coloring on the card. But I think we'll go for the seek. Probably ends up making more sense overall. Uh, bronze core, game one energy at the start of your turn. The start of your turn. Each combat includes a bronze or minion. They won't attack, but we'll put cards into stasis until killed. Eh. Third round at the start. Uh, start each combat with a zero cost power in your draw pile that gives you one energy ever every turn Okay, that's actually fine You just gotta draw to it small deck No downside which I like uh, Loose high block. I would rather take let's try the third arm. I don't think I've ever really used it um, And I'm also trying to complete all the relics. So Trying it here. It'd be pretty nice. Also, no Joker. Love to see it. Uh, there's a good path on the far left. Uh, you kind of want to shop though. Uh, here, there we go. That's better. Early shop. Got some money burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah, I like that. Let's go up in the center. I've still not really used the frozen eyes here. Oh, and there it is. Vim. So that'll give us one energy. So it doesn't help us on the setup and the starting of the turn. But again, our deck is not super. Oh, it burned out. Actually, I'm super reliant on energy currently. So I'm not like opposed to it. I have to double defend here. Yeah, double defend. Go for the weakness on you. Um, let's get this other one out of here. One good place to attack until next turn. Right, and there we go. Uh, da dum dum. So go for the eye's weakness here. And claw you. Right, take two attack. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing you can exhaust shouldn't matter to me. Yeah, defense fine. Uh, draw one card here. Exhaust card. Start next turn. Go for the eyes. I wanted more damage, but I actually had it in spades. No. Need more draw. Okay. We got going here. There's the donors washers. I got a lot of things that get draw one card for every enemy in combat. That's pretty good. Um, innate. This is a free card draw. Now you play five attack, deal twenty damage to all enemies. That's also pretty good. Red candle is also good. A lot of good things here. Red candle is pretty much every attack we played we're playing a lot of attacks i'm honestly thinking like red candle overclocked kind of stuff 
I could also... No, I can't take both these. These two. Taking red candle, definitely. Overclocked is good. Burns are bad, but I probably can find a way to, to mitigate these. Yeah, I think I want the draw. I think that's what I want. Runic Akasahedron, that's fine. We'll see if we can make use of it. Ego card. Uh, dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Do I want that? I wish I knew what this was. We compromised last time. So let's take the ego card this time. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I mean, Cobalt Scar sounds pretty good. I just don't know if I could fulfill it. Take five attacks. I think I want to try. Pick up here. Mimic here, of course. And it's the really hard mimic. Um, let's get the damage going. I'll go for the eye. There we go. See what we can do here. All right. Artifacting, not bad. Um, let's see. I think the best way to maneuver this. Cobalt scars. Latia. There we go. Seek the Vim. Oh, we played it Seek twice. I wanted to play this twice. Uh, go for the eyes for weakness. Uh, vulnerability. Yeah. Still taking 21. Man, this guy does not play around. Okay, overclocked here. I did not mean to do it that way, but that's fine. Two, three, uh, a vote this way, four. Okay, gotta remember, first card I play is gonna be doubled. Double weakness here is good. Card better is great. Claw, we'll play out the treasures because I do not want to draw them. Okay. Pause, let's get the damage going. The eye, zap. Treasures are meaningless because I can just play them. Dude's killing me in terms of raw damage. I uh, double beam self. Uh, he is dead. So we're going to treasure. We're going to treasure. Defend the eyes. There we go. Mostly so I don't take damage from the burn. Short fuse. I don't know if I've seen this. Your lightning orbs target the enemy with the least HP. Okay. I've never seen that relic. I'm relic quarry. I like that. Um, I don't think I need that. I'll take the focus potion instead. Sword, shuffle all rare or non-status cards in your discard pile back into your draw pile. Draw two cards. Okay, retain. Actually, don't mind that. I'm going to have a little bit of statuses from the burns. 22 HP going into this elite fight. Okay, not a good one for me. Uh, but this isn't too bad. Do this first. Natural 20. Okay. That's pretty good. Kind of want the two. I wanted to draw a bunch of cards. Uh, shuffle all non-status. Oh, it's or. That's fine. I just want to draw two cards mostly. And then we'll do this one. Cool. All right. Seek. Give me... Um... Go for the eyes, actually. Get that weakness on him. I need to defend. I need a lightning. Oh, I need to just deal some damage. He has regen, too. That's disgusting. I should have armored tinctured before I started into this. I didn't think about it at first. That's fine. We can still, we can still get ahead of this. Okay. This is very good to play twice, but if I play this twice, I die. Uh, we want to, or actually, I think I can do it this way. It'll still be okay. Weaken them. Claw. Uh, I should play this first. Charge battery. There we go. I'm about to get gooed. That's fine though. Um, seven energy. Yeah, I want the the, the sort to do, double sort me here. They're still weakened already, but we're gonna weaken them again. Charge battery. We're gonna overclock at some point, so let's play 
out everything. Let's overclock here. Claw again. Yeah, I can just play all the cards. And they're dead, so that's fine. Okay, and our cobalt thing did go off, so that was good. Uh, sword again. Very nice. I'm liking this. And then we got back to sword. Yeah, we have a, a conundrum on our hand here because we can just continuously cycle back to it pretty efficiently. All right, double defend here. Not too bad. The extra energy is great. I'm not having a problem with that. Um, 14 coming in. I think we're fine. Let's do the double weakness here. Yep. And then, oh, and that triggered our other thing. Zap. Six damage to you. The, I'm actually going to overclock. Then we're going to sort cards. Oh, okay. Finn for no reason. Okay, we're doing 14 to the little little blueberry here. I think we can just yeah poke him to death almost. Oh yep, 20 damage there. Toxic egg uh, skills will now come upgraded. Um, turbo's good. Turbo's very good. All for one's also very good, but leaps. I think I need the bomb with the all for one. This is gonna be good, especially with the rest. We are now carrying the natural 20 in with us too. Oh, you are a... You're a nonsense. You're a doo-doo nonsense boss. Okay. We need to get this going very quickly. Um, I'm okay trying to get... Everything going. Oh, there's that. There's the claw. Should have beam celled first. Smart. I'm also going to go ahead and drink this. We're going to take 15 out of the crack. But she's almost dead. And that's the... That's the joy here, because this guy's a minion. Go for this. Go for Latia. I have no draw. Uh, Latia. Go ahead and double charge battery. Doing double damage here until I play some more cards. You need to be weakened, honestly. 20 damage to all of them. Defend. House is in good mode. Go ahead and hit her, too. While I have the damage. And she's actually dead with 9 damage, so... Let's do that. Oh, yeah, we got this here. Um, whatever we play is going to be played twice, so type. Let me type again. There's another sort. Let's go ahead and zap. Call her. She's dead. Um, we're going to continue playing cards. Sort by type. Go ahead and zap again. All for one her. Zap again. Uh, okay. Her. And then there's cat. Cat, get lightninged. Not as bad as I thought, but at the same time, you gotta be careful. Pocket Polymer, you can transform cards as a free action. Not bad. Beefo Q is tempting. Getting more lightning for more stuff, but I think where we're at is a good, happy medium. Oddly Smooth Stone. Dex is always phenomenal. So we can polymerize or polymerize here. Um, I think... Got another rest up there. I want to go for the Smith here. See what I can do. You've become innate. More damage on the start. Retain. Not necessary. Seek putting two cards in could get us set up a little better. Oh, hello, big old bad wolf. Uh, Seek first. You. And based on energy consumption, I think I can get you too. So this is how we do this. Latia. Double Vim. Weakness. And then we just get the rest of the stuff in here for the the giggles. We're still taking one. Our defensive game is not... We don't have no exponential defending. So I need to kind of figure out a way to satisfy that. Go for the ice here. More weakness. Claw. Um, oh, we're bleeding. So I'm just like killing, taking tons of damage because of that. My bad. FTL is good. If you have played less than three cards, that's almost never going to happen, though. Cards in your discount card pile, plus three. They changed this. I feel like this was different. I think they added the plus three. Oh, and you can continue to upgrade. Or you can see the other upgrades. I think I'm good. Interesting card, but not what we need. Mysterious period. Whenever you draw one, draw the other. 
Honestly, I'm kind of okay just like putting the two claws together. Yeah, I think I will. Let's just exponentially grow them a little faster. You're annoying, but I gotta kill you in what, three turns? I think that's possible. Uh, let's go for the tried and true. Not that, but it really honestly works. Two of these. Uh, go for the sword on type. Give me two more cards. You're weak. Um, I don't want to all for one because I really want to defend more. The burn in there. Yeah, let's go with the defend and the cobalt scarring here. Ouch. Six energy. Okay. Double sort. I need two more cards. I pretty much draw my whole hand every turn, which is kind of nice. Double clawing here, all for one. Double claws with a soul burn too. So we got the fragments here. They do retain, right? No, they're ethereal. That's what it is. Got it. Overclock. Go for the eyes. I, I mean, I might as well play them, right? If they're ethereal. I don't see why not. Okay. She should be dead next turn, though. Yeah, especially with the soul burn. Oh no, whatever shall I do when you're dead? <laughs> oh, and that stacks between turns. I didn't even re realize that. I'm going to take an upgrade leap here. You have a card in your deck plus four damage. Obtain a random ego. Let's give a card plus four damage. Um, Let's give one the claws. I'm okay with that. And we will go for the rest here, even though we are fairly healthy. Let's go. It's a little red wine hook, and we got the big, bad, nightmare wolf. So we need to protect our girly here. Uh, again, the opening hands have been awesome. All right, so go with these two. I'm going to go with the same combination, because it seems very good. Um, I think I'm going to go a little, a little deep on this opening hand. There we go. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm going to draw. So I'm taking 10 currently. I want to give my girly a little bit here. I don't want her to die, because when she takes a certain amount, then she comes after me. Which in all intents and purposes are not very good for me. Uh, is your ally, if she lands the killing blow on the wolf, you win. The wolf dies by any means, she will kill the full HP and become my enemy. We gotta keep that in mind. Oh, I'm bleeding here. I want to do that. I'm actually just going to block for six and call it. That bleed's going to keep me from doing anything. She also heal heals herself, apparently. Alright, wolf's attacking again. Not bad. Um, I'm going to go for the double overclock. A little risky, but here we go. Leap, beam cell, uh, bunch of claws, zap going. Now we sort by type. Hopefully we don't draw anything. I thought I only put one of these in my deck, but I feel like I see it a lot. Um, I think, yeah, we'll just go dual defend. She's taking 12. No, she's taking nothing. She provides a lot of damage, so I want to keep her healthy here. Okay, she has the bleed. I do not, and that's what I prefer. 30. I mean, she's going for it. Overclock. There we go. Short by type. Okay. Leap. Zap. Double claws. A double defend. All for one here. There we go. He's doing 30. I don't think I can get him down low enough for her to kill him yet. Uh, one, two, three. I'll take two for her. That's fine. I'm more, I think I've already lost the perfect, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, but I do take the bleeding, which does suck a little bit here. I think I'm just going to do double charge battery. And wait. Lightning's already doing something anyway. Alright, she has 20. She's doing 12. Can we go pretty hard in here and get her... I thought that would get away the statuses. Is what that did. A little unfortunate for me. But, I mean, I can block a ton. Not actually nearly enough, but... Like a sizable amount, I guess. Okay. Ow. 
No bleeding though, so that's really the important part. Uh, she's doing 23? 26. So we should be able to get the enemy down into that range. That's actually enough right there. Leap. Defend. I think this is how this works, right? Yep. And it's- they're dead. Your duty has been fulfilled at last. I wonder if you get an additional bonus for killing them both. I feel like we had enough like ability to do so with the claws. Draw one fewer cards each turn. Each time we play two cards in a single turn, draw a card. Actually, not bad. Actually, yeah, we'll draw a lot of cards that way. Took the runic octahedron, which goes with our runic icosahedron. Also, Act Three. I think we may have seen this before, but I cannot remember. All right, early shop with 300 gold. I want to take a pretty light path. I want to make it to the boss. But there is a very spicy elite path right here. Ooh, I mean, I'm kind of... I kind of want to see it, though, with the bonfire at the end, but it's three elites. We'll try it. At this point, why not? We have the eyeball chick and the runaway birds. They are doing 27 damage out of the gate. Uh, I don't think they do anything special now. Charge battery, there we go. Defend. Uh, let's go ahead and reboot this hand. Because it's kind of bad. Beep. Uh, go for the eyes on you. Charge battery here. Beam cell. Yeah, we just drew like five cards during the course of that turn. Now, all I need to do is really make something, yeah. Make some of this innate. Be very good. Um, claw, claw, they're dead. You come back, there we go. Ah, what is card draw? And then we draw more cards, yeah. And then we do this, then we seek some more free cards. Like claw and go for the eyes. Oh, we drew the claw, but we didn't get the other one. They, they took, took advantage of my niceness. Uh, none of these are necessary here. Oh, we have seen. Here's the heart and the lungs. Go for Latia. Go on the short. Okay. Do it again. There's a bunch of stuff. Leap. Uh, beam cell. We almost draw through our complete deck, I think, in one full cycle of cards. Um, do I, I don't really... Let's just reboot. I don't really like this hand. Go ahead and seek out. Yep, there's that. And we'll go with the zap, I guess. This is what I want to get out. You're gone. This. Do that. Claw. And I think that's the whole turn. I think the only way it would have gotten better is if we could have all for one in addition to everything else we did. Okay. So we double sword to start off with. Okay, and there's the claw. Zap. Over the eyes. Yep, you are dead, my friend. Sorry for all your troubles. Nope. Not necessary. Ooh. Disoriented Jan. It was pointless. All along. He thought he had been making a difference. He thought he had been rebelling against the prescripts. Throwing a wrench into the machinations turning behind the scenes. But even his rebellion had been accounted for. Even his defiance had been planned for. In the end, he had been nothing more than another gear spinning in the wheels. Someone like him should just give up. Do as he's told. Fight the special enemy. Obtain an upgraded ego card. I don't really want another ego card. I'd rather give in. There was still another path left for him. A path that he should have taken along. When he first received the prescript to become a messenger, he didn't care if this was part of another plan of the prescripts. He didn't care if... If even this action would truly be one of his own free will, he just didn't care anymore. Raising his sword, he pointed it at himself. Ooh. I see. Alright, we have Pinocchio. Well, hello. They are doing an unknown with two artifacting here. Uh, okay, we need to, yeah, draw some more cards here. If not, we're not going to, yeah, get into the rest of the deck. One more card, and it is not helpful. Yeah, I guess one for you. Oh, he he took those cards and he's gonna play them himself. Interesting. Uh, Vim, go ahead and sort. 
Okay. Uh, seek out. Need that Latia. We'll take a zap here. Latia, we're gonna get one back. Let's go ahead and beam cell twice. Zap. Um, and we're gonna all for one here. Get the beam cell and the zap back. Alright. We got no block, unfortunately. I think that's... Fine. I can draw six cards. I guess I can get the, the go for the ice, actually. It'd be actually pretty good. Let's reboot. And we did. And we'll, we'll do a little bit more damage here, I suppose. Double claw. I don't, yeah, I don't think we can kill them, but pretty dang close. Charge battery. Okay, block here. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead, Zo. Power up those claws pretty quick. There we go. There's one I've been looking for. Hologram. Very good in a claw deck. Trick of the trap. I'll take the 15. I don't want to risk it. Ooh. Channel 1. All a bunch of potions. Uh, actually, some of them very good. Darkness is not good, but I do like it. Death potion. Burn a bottle. Death potion can get us out of something really sticky, I guess. We'll take an upgraded charge battery. Alright. Heal there. Go ahead and smith something. Cobalt, you'd be innate. Now that would eat up our, our uh starting hand a little bit too much. Go for the other, go for the eyes. Alright. Question mark here. Oh. Fight before then. We've already seen you chickens. Um seek first. Yep. And then we can Cobalt Scar Vim here. And then we the Tia, the Vim. Cobalt Scar. Zap. Now we can really like go for the nonsense. There we go. Because we want that AoE to go off. So we want to play a lot of attacks. Back to back to back to back. There we go. And this should actually probably end the fight. If we only had like uh, some way to gain strength with all the cards we're playing. A Nunjaku and such. Another Claw. I don't see why not. Fits very well. Vitrine. Pump pick up. Remove a card from your deck. You may shuffle into your draw pile at any time. Move a card from the deck. Basic strike. This is just the card removal to me. <laughs> Which I'm fine with. Software would increase your maximum org slot capacity to 15. Does not help us because we're not increasing our slots. And we are going against Snow Queen. Um, Vim here is fine. Yeah, let's play the two cards out and see if we get... Uh, play both these two. Okay, we did not. So we're going to Vim here. Then we're going to reboot. Frozen. Unplayable. Um, blah. Upon death, unfreeze all frozen cards in your hand. Hers is every third card you play becomes frozen. Okay. Atia. Discard pile. Okay. Claw twice. So the exhausted one got frozen. And hologram back on, in my hand. Zap. Go for the eyes. I mean, we're just going to continue on her. I can see how this would be very annoying, but... Blizzard, I'm frail and weak. That's kind of gross. Let's double charge battery here. I want to seek, yep, this, and probably beam cell. Cobalt scar, yep. So we need to kill her before our whole deck is frozen, I guess. Uh, I mean, I could always death potion if I really, like, was desperate. But I think if I just go very heavy on her... I probably can get a, like, get away with it. And, oh, my claws are frozen, though. That's going to become annoying. Oh, and they stay in your hand. They retain. I didn't realize that. Okay. I need to actually go for the kill here. Yeah, all for one's also frozen. Okay, okay. I, I see the error of my ways. My whole hand is frozen card. Ouch. Aww. Yep. Twice. Unfreeze everything. Now she's dead. I was like, I didn't think there'd be a problem, and then it very much so became a problem. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain two HP. I think this uh, this might be over. If I had to guess, we might be uh, fine. So we have Punishing Bird, and then two Keepers of something. Keepers of the Force. So you, whenever a creature is attacked, it uses a powerful attack next turn. 
And these guys, uh, each enemy loses 40 strength this turn. Our enemies lose 40 strength. Interesting. Uh, okay, I don't know who to attack. Where this creature is attacked. It was a powerful attack. Well, how powerful is this attack? Is what I'm wondering. Okay, leap. Vulnerability. Then charge battery. Not a great turn, but not a bad turn. Kind of worried. Okay. Not bad. Let's overclock first. There we go. Atia, Vim, played twice. Um, let's go ahead and Cobalt Scar. Get some stuff going. Come on. Yeah, there's the claws. Boom. Boom. One of you are dead. So this retains. They'll keep this for a bad turn is what it seems like. I feel like once we start hitting the main bird, it's going to get pretty rough. You're defending yourself. The coup. Because this thing seems to only peck right now. Yep. Seek. Um, go for all for one and go for the eyes. Oh, we played this twice. That was my my bad. Fine, we'll fill up the hand. Okay, we kind of hit this bird over here, so I hope it doesn't retaliate too bad. Well, they're dead. Okay, start getting some stuff going here. Fall to hand. All right, they're gonna start attacking us probably next turn. Unless we kill them right now, specifically. Hand is full of nonsense. There we go. Back the weakness, though. Okay, zap. And we are healing a ton here. Uh, I don't really want to retain here. Let's just get the energy for next turn. Everything else can go. That's fine. So what's this powerful attack? 37. That That's kind of what I expected. Okay, we have these. We will probably end up using them. Uh, double charge battery here, though. Totally fine. Overclock. Our hand is due to nonsense. Okay. Defend. All for one here. We got the overclock back. Hologram back. The all for one. Overclock. There we go. We're starting to get some cards. They're weakened now. Ooh, I could reboot everything. That's the, that's the, so, strength is gone for you. Reboot. Okay. Beam cell. Or you're, they're dead if I can draw one attack. And I did. Oh, giant birdcage. I like that. Another beam cell would be good, actually. I'm not opposed to it. Oh, this looks gross. So you are big bird. And then we have two for, uh, forge spirits on our team. Go ahead and get this going. That, defend, hologram. Give me back the beam cell, beam cell, seek, there we go. Downside, we only have one energy. Um, so, I'm gonna play this a little bit more strategically. Uh, beam cell for the vulnerability, claw. All right, because we're protected ritual. They're gaining strength, okay. Dazzle, I, I didn't get to see what those were doing. Uh, uh, your attacks against this creature deal one damage. Can I apply deep? Okay. This creature attacks deal one damage. Enchant is removed whenever you attack this creature, okay? Chris comes by one. This kind of is kind of unplayable. So I need to play the Dazzles. Kind of dumb. Um, so Dazzle first. Get it out of here. Tia, okay. Two claws. You're doing 999 damage to a bird. Uh, oh, they instantly, uh, enchant is removed every time. Okay, so I need to attack you so that you're not enchanted. Now, yeah, now you don't die. Good to know. This is a weird little fight, but I, I kind of like it. Kinda interesting. Dazzle. I need to play the other Dazzles. That gets that out of here. Then we're going to sort by type. Draw two more cards. Another dazzle though, that sucks. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my hand. Okay. Not bad. Uh, I need to play this next turn. Oh, and they just continue to add them too. And we draw a lot of cards, so. I need to get those out if I can. Play this out. 
They're killing you. I can't actually help you yet. Okay, beam sell you. You're not enchanted anymore. Do that. Hologram back. The claw. Okay. Zap you. Claw you again. You're dead. Boom. Hey, Wingo Dale. I like that. Uh, max hand size is increased by two. Actually, very good. Uh, I'll get the adrenaline potion over the death potion. Another all for one. Could be very nice. Bottle flame. Start it with our uh, attack. Come out within our hand. I mean, it's definitely just this, right? Because we should start with both claws, I think. Oh, and we bought this statue. And they're worshippers. Okay. What do you do? Flex. I don't remember exactly how this works. Minions will ban explode and deals 15 damage. Is that tip below 10 HP? It will suicide. Okay. We can do our good combination, though. Get this going. Latia, Vim, Cobalt Scars. Alright, let's get the damage going. I'm kind of okay with just attacking the, sh uh, the shrine currently. Four o'clock here. Hologram. Give me back one of these claws. Call them again. Okay. Because, yeah, we're going to do 20 damage to them. Or 10 damage. Well, 20 across them, yeah. I think we could kill them next turn. Well, I don't know if they're out of the block. Pretty good bit. Zap. Okay, hit them. Uh, sort here would be fine. Let's go ahead and actually do the one for all. Yep, there we go. Because we can play all these claws and let the Cobalt Scar kill the little guys. Oh, the fight's just over. Ghost pet. Uh, that's fine. Uh, upgraded claw. Also very good. And we're at a bonfire. Uh, we, get, we just go with the dig, right? Yeah, we're at max HP. Thumb drive, which is actually a thumb. Uh, at the start of your turn, combat, channel one data. Uh, orb just gains focus. I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay, we've never seen this fight, which is cool. So we have scythe apostates. Apostles? That's it. And we have over here a prophet. When you kill, uh, you will gain a debuff. Ninth kill, gain two strength, second, gain two decks. Oh, gain a buff. Okay. New one will spawn at the end of the round. Okay, so we need to kill a lot of the apostates before the prophet dies, I guess? Interesting. Drop it in your hand. Goes fetch, give me the zap. Okay, let's draw some cards first. All right. It's you. Okay. I gotta like do this strategically. Call that back. Beam cell. Oh, I've, I've, I think I've already messed this up. No, it's the next one. So this shouldn't double. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's all I can play. I was hoping to get my good Vim out. You're dead. We gained a buff. Start killing the next one, who's dealing a lot of damage to me, actually. There's the Vim that I wanted. I guess I could have waited and played it next turn, technically. Alright, another one down. Okay, so... Two decks and stuff. This fight must get, like, super intense, because this feels... Kind of like it's going to be n getting nuts out. Let's sort here. Got a bunch of cards. Alright, um, Seek, we need this. And I guess we'll take one of the claws. Upgrade one, I suppose. Uh, Cobalt Scholar first. Alright, now we just start playing attacks. I wonder if it makes more sense to target the lowest HP one, but with the amount of cards we're playing, I don't know if it'll end up mattering in the super long term. My hand's too full right now, honestly. 21 to you. Bajillion cards here. You're dead because our claws are going to instant like soon become where they kill anything they touch. I can't like attack. No, I can't attack this top one. I also missed what the data orb looked like. I was so focused on like killing off these little minions. But I think we're to the point now as long as we can get a claw in our hand, it should kill any of these things in one hit. 
and that'll just be how we play the how we play this fight. Yeah, because I assume at the end there's gonna be some some crazy boss that we're gonna have to try and beat. So, and then we all for one. There's the crazy claw. Kill that one. Charge battery for next turn. And then they are dead. So we continue. Yep, because we're up to six strength. Oh, it changed. I was confused. All right, so the thing opened up. We have the Seraph of Long Lost Paradise. 50 damage on the start. All right. Double leap. And our claws are still going to be gaining stuff. Uh, we need to look at this. Reduce all damage by 50% after receiving damage. Reduce this amount by one. So we need to hit them three times. And then they'll start taking normal damage. Okay. Claws are still gaining. Get that weakness on them. We have a ton of uh, block we need to achieve here. But we have a ton of cards we get to play too. I'm going to continue drawing here. Uh, another claw. Yeah, this is going to go by very quickly at this rate. Yeah, our claws are doing 88 damage. So this fight's over. We had the right build. And yeah, that was... It was... There's no way. Proceed. Okay. Never got this far. Uh, you hear a heartbeat in the darkness that awaits you. The door to the library flies open, and a motley crew of strange and disturbing figures waltz out. You cannot help but feel like they are up to no go. The ending. Approach the heart. Uninvited guests greet the uninvited guests long. Uninvited guests greet the uninvited guests short. Go somewhere or choose randomly. I mean... I guess we just go... I'm gonna hit long and see what it does. <sighs> Reverberation assembled. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Knock at the door shall open. The entrance to this place was super strong. Even after many blows, we barely got inside. It's a test of endurance, after all. There's no use giving up after a couple of knocks. Now, friends, if you're right here, we might scare away the residents of this place. It would be wise that we not show the... It would be wise that we show the utmost respect so they don't go hiding on the bookshelf. Book of someone. At the end of combat, heal 35% of your HP. Interesting. You should know what compels you to do so for the rest of your life for a... For a such... For a place such as this. But you could not tell that there was a light here, a ray of hope. That these villains shot defile. And you would not stand for it. Oh my. There's a long path with like a bunch of fights. And then I guess another boss. Here. Okay. So we have a fight with Philip. Who is a scared face man. So we're going to go for... Go for the eyes first. We do have a friend here. Malkith. It's our ally. Um, I'm going to go for the... The claws manifest on these. What's this? Uh, I can play this. You may instead exhaust one card from every missing energy. Okay, I gotta remember that. Now I think I'm actually gonna go this, and then this. Play this twice seems fun. Um, I gotta make sure I don't overextend here. I can very easily do so, since the cards all have manifest. It looks like. Yeah, I don't actually really like. Is that his ability? No. It might just be something for this floor. Gain four emotion. I don't know what that is. Yeah, everything is manifest. Okay. Claw. Twice. Hologram. Give me back my claw. Okay. And we're still healing, which is still super nutso. Alright. Let's get these claws going. Oh, all for one back into the hand. Or that's the second one, I think. Beam cell, beam cell. Oh, I can play it for the manifest. So we actually will. We'll exhaust the burn. So we can use that very strategically here. Yep. Ah. Ball build for the win. I don't think there's many, like, thinking about how this all ends up working. Uh, give me both these. I don't know if there's a great build for, like, some of this stuff. I don't want to manifest any more cards, I don't think. Yeah, we're just going to end here. Uh, because for the fact that we need a, such a scaling, like, 
this is the first floor and he has 700 hit points. But I guess the point is to like overextend into what you can do. Claws just do that very well. Um, I actually would love to manifest past these burns. Um, oh, okay, I can do it with that. All for one here. Yeah, because the claws are doing like 34 and 35 damage. Oh, they're just dead, but I'm, I'm going to continue through it here. Uh, leap. Mana hit you again. Uh, get rid of the burn. Yeah. Claws are doing 40 damage each. I can finally rest. And we heal 35% of our HP at the end of each fight. Um, at the end of your turn, exhaust all common cards in your hand. No. Skip that. So we have another fight. We have... Ellen. And then gear worshippers. And then we have, oh, I can't see that. Uh, Yodes, yes, Yesod, as our um, companion here. And he has the seventh, uh, well, it's the seventh bullet, but something different for that. All right, let's seek here. I'm gonna seek these two. Uh, we're gonna do this, Vim, Cobalt Scar. Balls going in. Uh, not everything has manifest in this fight, so I gotta keep that in mind. I guess it was just a carryover from the last fight, or a carryover for the last fight. We're gonna block here, because there's a lot of damage coming in, mostly to our ally. So I gotta keep that in mind. We actually probably can reboot here. Go ahead and exhaust that out. Oh, and this is the data or passive when channeled, and at the start of your turn, gain one temporary focus. Evoke for three temporary focus. Okay, did it. So. This extra focus, I suppose. Which is not bad. I don't have a problem with that. Do a little bit more nonsense here. Play a few more cards. Get flooding bullets. Bunch of damage across. Oh, it also hurts me. Uh, dude, you are not being nice to me. I should have paid more attention to what he was doing. I think I can heal through it. So I'm not too afraid, but it's nice to know. Double charge battery for next turn. Another one here. Fetch me out. I guess a swipe. Well, let's play the swipe to play up. Get these claw. Get you guys down if I can. Overclock. Claw. Beam cell. And then we're going to all for one here. Should get a bunch of cards back. I think, yeah, you are dead. Now let's focus on this person in the back. Who we've been kind of neglecting. Claws. Go ahead and zap here. Then we'll hologram back another claw if we can. Because this also lets us get all our energy back, which I mean our health back. Not the fastest method, but at the same time, it's not the slowest. Um, we do need, if we can remove a few more basic cards from the deck, I think we'll be able to um, go infinite like this. Because it's what? Two cards for every two cards, you draw one, so. I think we can do that. And they summon them back, so. Nice that we also have 11 energy this turn. So I'll draw all these back. I'm just gonna focus her on her in the back. Be fine here. Look the eyes. Yeah, she's dead. Because I can just now all for one again and she's out of here. And there we go. The system was welcome and we got through it. Uh, I don't think I need any of these. Like I could add them, but for what? Uh, Greta, and then we have Hode here. Um, let's fetch the Zap here, I guess. I'm gonna hold it just for a little bit. To see if we can get the right combination of cards we want to play out. And I don't think we can, so we're going to play this. Yeah, we didn't. Start through. More Claws. I think that's everything we will be able to do. Laceration. And some of these cards we've not seen that they're getting to play with. So I wonder if there's like a character that you could use to take advantage. I know there's some other mods and stuff, so... It wouldn't surprise me. Okay. 26 and apply 2 weak here. Oh, there's a lot of damage coming in. Mint, mint, then... Trial smack. Ugh. That's not fun. Yeah, let's get the zap going. Um... I think I'll go for the charge battery. We still need our... haven't got our, like, main engine online yet. Which is worrying. There we go. 
Give me this. Give me that. Okay, there we go. Two claws. Now we can get stuff going. Oh, did not get enough of the all for one this turn. We also did not provide a ton of energy. Um, I mean a ton of block. I guess we can get a little bit there. Oh, go for that. There's the weakness. That's actually very good. She's going to take a pretty big hit, but I think we're on the upswing of this fight now. He's also going to heal, which kind of is annoying. Oh, and there's a hostage on the table. But the hostage is what he hits to gain. I didn't even realize he had put that out there. Interesting. Again. Alright, some all for ones here, which will be not great. I'm honestly going to reboot here. Yeah, that hand's a little nicer. He's all mad, too. Bleed for... Uh, don't like that. Also, what is... Is that the... Yeah, that's Latia. Okay. Tap through. Hologram back. Oh, the claw. There we go. All for one here is pretty good. Need to keep playing these out. Also, lets me heal. I'm already back to full health. The eyes. Leap. One of these. Defend. Defend. There we go. Taking 82 just from the soul burn. I was pretty uh, concerned that the red candle might not be the way to go, but honestly, I, I feel like it's putting in a lot of damage, so not too sad about it. Ooh, we're bleeding for a bunch, so we need a block. They're dead, though. And we got a hostage. They Well, the hostage got free. None of these. Uh, I guess we go for the, the chest, honestly. Boomerang, put the fourth card you play on the top of your drop off. Uh, it's not gonna matter in the slightest. The chest, feather dust, your plant pick up, remove any number of cards from your deck except strike, defend, and curse cards. I don't know if there's anything I actually want to remove. Uh. Dual cast, probably? Is as the only one? Looking. Looking, looking, looking. Yeah. Honestly, also overclock can probably go now. Because we have the runic icosahedron, I don't think we end up needing it. Musician of, of Bremen? I kind of like this. It's, just a, it's like a conglomeration of doggos. Uh, we're going to do the two claws first. Another claw. All for one. Okay, there we go. I go ahead and seek first. Give me the Vim and give me the Cobalt Scar. Latia. Vim. Twice. Cobalt Scar, and then we can start playing the Claws out. There's the weakness. And we should be set for next turn. Our little friend Nedzak is, uh... So sad. Attack Prescript. I like that. It's a retained attack card for free. That I assume that he gave us. Or did they give it to us? Play this card in order to... In order. Attack, skill, attack. Okay. Melody. Each time a random sequence is generated in the melody. Uh, at the end of the round, you gain one strength. If you don't, the creature gains two strength. Oh, so I need to do attack and skill attack. Okay, I can do that. And this is considered an attack. Um, yes. Attack. Attack. Okay, it does light up. Skill. Attack. Okay, the melody is complete. Now we can play in any order we would like. Go with this. Going to go with typing here. Go ahead and get this pre-script out of here. Vulnerability. Charge batteries here are actually pretty good. And honestly, I'll probably apply some of this defense to our friend right here. Um, we have 44. We're only taking around 20. There you go. Should be good. Alright. Because they're doing a lot of the damage. As we power up here. So we just need to make sure we pay attention to the new melody. Skill, attack, attack. Uh, I mean, I'd rather charge better skill. Skill, attack, attack. It didn't work. Why not? That kind of... Oh, because I guess it plays two skills first, technically. Skill. Back a claw. Yep, now it works. The first one, I guess, doesn't count because of the way 
it does things here, but that's fine. We completed it either way. Still here, all for one. Yeah. Getting these calls upgraded wouldn't be bad, so they start off with a little bit more damage, but... If anything, it's only going to make the fight go by slightly faster. Or we need it to go by a lot faster. Alright, uh, another Hologram Claw Rake. Two damage. Two damage to all enemies. Grave counts as a Claw Storm. Has no normal claw cards. Add one to your draw pile. I mean, it's fine, but it's a two cost Claw. I don't really need that. Another Hologram. Uh, hello, it's a Jester. Oswald. And then we have Tip Fair. Don't know exactly who that is, but... Oh, I love some the Rising Climax. We need to know. Brainwashing. Interesting. All allies gain two strength. And Terrasante. Okay. I need to go digging. Some cards. Give me that claw back. Oh, uh, there's the Vim. Okay. We'll draw one more card. Okay. Yep, we'll Vim here. That. I don't think we would have got what we wanted anyway. Oh, we did. Did after the fact. Um... We've already played the Vim, so we'll look Eo for two, and then we'll refund one. So I guess, yeah, let's do this. So Latia, Cobalt Scar from the refund, play that twice. This kind of doubles our damage here, so I'm not too disappointed in that. All right, so she's brainwashed. How do I break the brainwashing? Uh, after this creature loses 40 more HP. Okay, so I have to deal 40. For sure. So I can either attack them or I can wait two turns. Yeah, I don't really like either one. Um, short, let's pl play this twice. But again. Okay. Uh, not that many zero cost cards, unfortunately. I could sort again, but it's just going to take energy. Only have one, though. Hologram. The claw back. That's fine. I'm going to have to sort one more time, honestly. Another hologram. Okay, there's go for the eyes. Pretty good. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reboot the whole hand. It's much worse. If I'm being honest. Okay. Oh, there's all the claws. Uh, okay. 23. Oh, she's back on our team now. Thank you. Uh, I do not have a lot of block out this turn because of that, but overall, we're gonna gain it back more than likely. And actually, because of something, we did not end up losing that much. Uh, wounds and weakness. Okay, that's fine. Alright, zaps going up. Hologram back. The claw. 32 damage each one. Uh, charge batteries. Hologram back. Another claw. Could have got an upgraded one, but at the end of the day, it will end up probably not mattering. We'll get the upgrade. Oh, grab the go for the eyes. That's fine. I needed to grab a claw, but we're already back to full HP. Really what we need is a shuriken. That or I guess a kunai would be fine. But a shuriken's really what matters. Oh my goodness. That was kind of that many wounds just eating up our opening hand. Kind of sucks. I'm going to play some more swords. Glad I have some card draw in the deck. Hologram back. Cl upgraded claw. Claw again. They're dead. What a nuisance, I agree. So the claw now. No. None of that. So we're fighting Tanya. Thinking of the saga of Tanya evil, but not the same person. Uh, good opening hands. Seek and opening hands always good. Go with this. Go for the eyes here, it's very good. Start getting that beam cell going. Um, a couple of scars, fine. There's a charge battery, which is very good. Hologram would have been better, though. Still gonna take two here. Trying to perfect these would be almost impossible. They deal a lot of damage. I also like her sword. Look at that. Like a, a parasitic kind of blade. Um, I'm gonna go with the double charge battery. Set up for a pretty good turn. Next turn, I'm just gonna kind of build up my... Balls here. They have a lot less HP, which is worrying for the fact that they might just out of nowhere do a huge amount of damage. So I gotta keep that in mind. 
Uh, charge batteries, fine. Zap. All for one here. There we go. Stack up that weakness. I think now that I'm like going through these motions and like figuring out what we could do, I actually think having some more orb slots would be very uh, opportunistic here. One, two, three, four. Keep her safe if we can. Just for the fact that we do build lightning. Like, it's pretty slow, but I guess it's better to have the lightning than to have the exhausted lightning, in a way. Uh, double claw here is going to be good. Nine energy, so... Yeah, they're actually dead, I think. Get an upgraded claw, because it might end up mattering for total damage. No, it's not going to matter. Oh, they healed and came back. I don't get that. Weird. Okay. I'm out of cards. No, oh, I, I mean, I, I want to keep the party going. Oh, we just shuffled two. But we can do this. That's actually going to draw us two more. Which is another card draw. There we go. Keep the train going. We can't. That's it. I should have gave her some block button time. Does she have to kill this dude? Um, whenever this creature deals with uh, strength, manifest ego and double its strength for one turn. I mean, at the end, it's not going to matter. E I just don't want this dude to, like, continuously come back. I've got a bunch of plated armor right now, but the claws do much more than he... Okay, he died this time. He had one free life, apparently. Another upgraded claw. Always happy to see it. I did that wrong. That was a dumb, dumb move. I mean, I guess the the claws. I need to go back. I wanted the chests. Really, what is what I wanted? I don't know why I went the other way. Look of blood for every you lose HP equal to 25. You may gain a random potion. Not very good. All right, we are going again. Ooh, I like this guy, Jay Hedden, and his puppet. I like that a lot. And we have chest. Um, let's draw some cards first. Do we got? Okay. Uh, just to see if we get any good combinations here. All for one's actually very good. I'm kind of just going to hit... What's the puppet do? If this creature dies, it revives next turn to full HP. Heals this creature instead. Okay. Interesting. There's Latia, but I can't play it, unfortunately. It's going to be shuffled back in. That's fine. Energy shield. All allies gain 15 blocks. He's like a blocker. Wasn't enough, because I didn't block it all. Okay, 18 cards on the deck. I need to remove the basic strikes out. Um, My draw pile, shuffle, and draw six. Yeah, let's go ahead and reboot here. And let's go again. Hit you. Claw you. Beam cell you. Hologram. Back the claw. Two more. Okay. I'm just gonna off run. I'm just gonna continue going, getting the claws built up. I don't specifically need to get out the extra energy yet. It would be very good, but I don't. It's not necessary yet. Cause yeah, I'm only taking. I'm taking nothing. They're really focusing on my ally here. There's them, so we might actually be able to to go for the good the good stuff. Um, I'm trying down to the last card. Ends up not being it. Alright, that's the extra energy for next turn. So, still gonna take a pretty good bit here from the puppet. Oh, the puppet died. Oh, didn't realize that was gonna happen. But it just revives here. Oh, it, it takes a turn though. Alright, we got the Latia, so now we can actually... Get the good stuff going, I suppose. I burnt that out for nothing, apparently. Hologram here for nothing, also, because we ended up resetting the draw pile. Fine. No salt here. Let's play the, the defense out, too. Actually, not a bad thing. Oh, there's charge battery, which would definitely been better. Alright, 30 coming in. Ooh. That's cool. And I healed the puppet for 20. That was considered its mass attack, which it said right there. Okay. 
I got it now. I mean, the claws now do 40 damage. They are dead. Very super dead. Okay. None of this. Light projector is good. Not necessarily. Ah. I can almost be convinced to do reprogram, but I don't think I need it. Ooh, these are some awesome cool ones. Elena, Vermilion Cross, and we have Finya. Yeah. Ball. 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 Then we beam cell. I should beam cell first. Them on my move. Um, let's just draw some more cards first. Uh, and they are vulnerable now. Yeah. Okay, continue around. All right, and then I'll reboot once. To see what we get. There's Latia. Getting that out early is always very good. Nothing in the draw. Claw here twice. Oh, we got more claws in our hand. There's Cobalt Scar. That's very good. Now, I think we're actually pretty well set. We're going to take nine here. They're doing 36 to the main enemy. Eat up. They gained five strength. Interesting. I think we can kill you very quickly. Be here. Them and let's yep. Yeah. Oh, we we double seek. That's fine. Keep you vulnerable. Let's get you out of commission. I'm actually going to weaken this one just for the fun of it. And also to keep the damage on. Um, okay, all for one here. Should be one claw. Yep, they are dead. Now, now we just need to lay to this other character. Which apparently is not going to be bad. I, I don't even know if I made him vulnerable yet. Draw through the whole deck, apparently. Still two energy left. Get the charge battery. They are doing 15 to me, so I do need to be mindful of that. If I had a way to gain energy when I drew cards, or when I played attack, it would be set. So we need ornamental fan, really, is the crux of this, I think. Alright, and then we throw two claws. Each doing like 60 damage. Ah, uh, yes. And they're dead. We've made a decent deck. I'm pretty happy with this. Zaz Potion does nothing here. Time Bomb. Two Orb Slots. Two Glass. Two Dark. Trigger its passive ability three times. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card right there. We have Prin uh, Hokuma, who's the Prince of Time. And then we're going against Pluto and Shade, which is the Silent. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to reboot right off the bat. Nothing too specific here. Let's play some more free cards. Get the claw back here. Okay. Ooh. Whenever you play three cards, this creature takes a turn. This creature's normal turn is skipped. Interesting. They're going to take a lot of turns, my friend. A lot of turns, because I play a lot of cards. Uh, we're going to go with the double charge battery here. Beam cell. Cobalt scar is unfortunate to see it here, but take an extra turn after this one. Interesting. Ooh, okay. I'm confused. Gain two energy to start your turn. You cannot draw cards besides the starting. Nope. Gain five strength at the end of your turn. Take two damage and increase the damage you take from this power by two. Uh, let's just do no contract. I'm okay with them getting three strength. That's no problem with me. I don't want your dirty deals. Okay. Keep you weak. Hologram back. Uh, Cobalt Scar. Very important. All right. All for one here. Uh, let's start also getting this other person down. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Latia Claw. That was weird. But right on cue, I'll take it. I wasn't expecting my turn to get reset like that. Oh, was that this one? No. I don't have a weird ability that I'm not expecting here. Our battery beam cell. Go for the eyes. They're weakened. 40, 60 damage. Increase this card's damage by 10 this combat. That's fine. They're attacking again. We're going to draw some more. Hopefully some claws. Nope. But this person is pretty close to death. Okay. Two voids. Eh, gross. But we have a, a fair amount of HP. I mean, a fair amount of energy. We have seven this turn. Because I don't think there's any way we get out of 
probably drawing that void. My turn ended and drew a bunch of cards. I don't, I guess that's him. I haven't like, it must be the card in his hand that he was doing. Like it skips our turn and starts another one, which is fine. I don't like have a, a huge dilemma with it. Uh, we need the all for one before we reset our hand. Get all the claws back. I think they're going to be close to dead here. Yep. Yeah, it feels like it. Uh, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. If not from me playing cards, from my ally playing cards. Yeah, it's definitely him. Which is fine, because it pretty much gives me an extra turn. However, my turns go forever, so I'd rather just keep doing them. Um, None of this. None of that's any good. Uh, let's get two more... Ooh, let's do a shop first and then a chest. Uh, chemical X. I have no X cost cards. I do want to remove a basic strike. Um, actually. Actually, actually. Uh, she's going in. No, I don't want that. I'm actually going to do something I don't do. I'm going to fight the shopkeeper. I definitely know we can do it. But I'm not too sad about it. I also don't beat him very often, so uh, this is for all for the fun marbles. Just to say we did it this time. I uh, go for the eyes, beam cell, seek. The uh, you are in trouble, my friend, because this is the super combo. Charge, leap, do that. Okay. Thank you. Good try. Thorns always very good with you, but I didn't have them. And only 200, 200 HP when I've been fighting things with 800. That will do this. Claw, strike, defend, defend, a hologram, back a claw, draw one more card. There you go. You and your coins. Okay. Cobalt Scar here, twice. Let's go ahead and tap. Let's go ahead and reboot. I think I can do a better hand. There's an all for one, but we just rebooted, unfortunately. The all for one. We probably can get a few more in the grave before we have to commit to that. There we go. That'll do it. I think that's enough. Yep. And there we go. We got the rug. Remember what it does. At the start of each uh, start each combat with one plate armor for every 50 gold I have. Um, I don't know what I just clicked. Uh, I'm probably gonna choose a card. When it's put into your discard, I'll shuffle back. Uh, we'll just do it with one of the claws. When it's put in there, shuffle back into the draw pile, right? Yeah, we'll do that with one of the super claws. Oh, I don't have. I can't do it with the super claws. That's sad. Um, we'll just do it with a normal claw then. Come on, collects. Uh, skip that. I don't think I need any of these cards. I more just did it for for the for the memes because I don't usually beat them. And 300 more gold. So we should start with a ton of plated armor. Shopkeeper will not be here anymore. So that is nice to know. Agrilia, 27. You are coming out of the gate hot. I am gonna start with this. Oh, I'm gonna go with creative AI. Why not? I mean, I'll probably have the energy to end up using it. So I'm thinking. Uh, two claws. And we also have Roland here. Um, I'm going to reboot here. I want to play Latia here. Okay. I'm going to go with the double claw here. Okay. And we should play at least one defender. And we have our little shopkeeper's rug. Very nice. No damage to us. She also has 1500, which sucks. But we did start with 19 plated armor here, which is pretty nice. Another creative AI, not the best here. I don't think I'll play it. Um, I do want to play the all for one to start with. Little unopportune, but I want to play, get a bunch of claws out. That's going to be the best move I can do. I think I want these two. Them. Claw, claw, charge battery, go for the eyes, ghost defend. There we go. And I should start defending my friend. Because I had the opportunity there. 
Especially with the 19 plated armor. I bet she ends up doing more. A lot more over time. Um, okay. Uh, go for the ice first. I am going to play the capacitors here just because. Claw, claw, beam cell. Claw. Defend. Go for the eyes. Defend. 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 Hologram. Claw. Claw. Ah, oh, charge battery would have been so much better. Uh, we have 26 plus 19 we can give. Uh, at least that much. Yeah, that'll put us to 34. Right? Yes, yeah, so one more. Yep, there we go. Not the most I can give you, but it's a lot. I'm also going to go ahead and drink this pizzazz potion. Because why not? Uh, Electrodynamics is fine. I don't want to play it for my opener. I want to play claws for the opener. There's the creative AI here. Now... Um... I think of what to do. Charge battery here. I think I'll play the electrodynamics and then we're gonna go for the all for one here. Uh, beam cell. That. Fetch. Zap. Zap. Go for the eyes. Claw. Claws are doing 45 damage right now. Oh, we're not get We are just blocking this turn. He's taking a beating though. Uh, attacks. Consume vibration. Had consumers to trigger an additional effect. Interesting. So I don't want them to hit him if possible, honestly. Hello World is not worth playing. That is the only downside to like Oh, she's dead. Our our attacks are doing 50 damage piece. Um to using the creative AI. One man sorrow. The fight stops a welcome reprieve from the gruesome gauntlet you've been subjected to. But in the silence, stretch outward, a deathly chill fears the air. As a heartbeat begins to pound louder and louder in your ears. Angela, you know what I'm about to do, right? Ret return to the corrupted heart. Confront the black silence. I mean, let's just confront the black silence. Let's see what it does. I have nothing but sorrow, and I want more. It has been. It still is faithful to me. Upgrade a card. Claw. Sure. Uh, okay. Why should I retrudge it? Since during these hours, but my soul crushed the depth of my heart, it was seated beside me. Basic strike gone. Obtain Tiger Mount, obtain Training Will. Oh, sorrow, I have ended. You see, by respecting you, I become certain you will never leave me. Start of each combat at a random card with exhaust to your hand. Zero until played. Whenever you draw a hand with no attacks or skills, or a random card of that type from your draw pod. Yeah, I can't do this. So tag a mobile this. I realize it. Your beauty lies uh, in the force of you being. You are like those who never left. The sad fireside corner of my poor black heart. Thanks, so. I'm probably going to choose another character. No, hop up. Whenever you draw a card during turn, deal damage equal to its cost to a random enemy. Well, there we go. Oh, my sorry. You are... You are better than a well-beloved, because I know that on the day of my final agony, uh, you will be there lying in the sheets, oh sorrow. Oh, that you might once again attempt to enter my heart. Potato, you're more into damage. Whenever you play a power game, one strength. Ooh. Uh, I don't, I only have two powers. Let's just take potato, could be good. All right. First one, the Black Silence. 18, a crap ton of damage on turn one. And then I gather, what do they do? Ice on its first intent, its second intent, its previous intent. In addition to its normal turn, this creature takes a turn whenever you play five cards. Well, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Because, I mean, I can gain, do stuff, but I play a ton of cards. Yep. Uh, it's in a different turn order though. The hologram back, the claw, claw, claw. Yeah, and they have a thousand HP. Like, I'm not going to be able to get past that. Oh, the Tia here is super bad for me. Oh, I can't take damage on my turn. That actually will end up saving us, probably. Uh, Latia not being here is very sad. Um. 
And I don't think I can get back to him, so we're gonna vum. Under this, we're gonna hologram. Oh, I could have hologram back to Sophia. I could have actually got the, the what we wanted to do. It's fine though. Uh, seek here. Go ahead for both double claws. Yeah, we've got this then. We're trying here. Card battery. Off for one. Bunch of cards. Yep. Potato. I almost didn't take potato. And I'm just like kicking myself like what would I have done if I didn't take it? Oh, minus 16 strength though. Something did not work very well there. And I can continue for a minute. 19 here. Okay. Whittling them down. Till the claws get going, we're gonna be kind of just doing our thing. So he still can affect us, I think, with debuffs. But not much else. Uh, there's Cobalt Scar. <laughs> He's really... Wow. <laughs> he was going for it. Alright. Probably going back. Okay, we just reset our draw pile, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to sort here. It's like playing the time meter, but the time meter can't stop you from taking a turn. Uh, give me a claw back. Because, yeah, I, I've I've neg negated so much damage. We still have all 19 of our plated armor. That's kind of my uh, indicator to if we actually uh, are taking any damage or not. Yeah, this is this is nonsensical. Okay. Claws are doing 64 damage apiece. Alright. Claw here. I'm wondering where our big attacks are. Oh, we actually didn't end up. Oh, there's our all for one. Yep, fight's over. Yep. There we go. Armor tincture is very good. Uh another hologram I don't think I'd be very sad to have. Uh, we can submit the card here. Uh, I mean, Cobalt's card being innate is fine, but again, just upgrade the claws. Hello, brain. Ooh, we have two of them, Roland and Angelica. Okay, violence. Uh, drop out of your hand. That's fine. There's Vim. We're going to keep it for a minute. We got claws to play. Uh, beam cell. Big claw here. Claw again. Beam cell again. Hologram. Claw back. Claw again. Wipe on you. One more hologram. There's Latia. Let's go with the nonsense. Okay, Latia here. Vim. The charge battery once. Alright. That's the call. We should be good. Ha. Huh. Let's see. So, seven energy to start on the turn. Pretty snazzy. The only downside is we actually really need to um, keep the cards in our hand. It could get very, not great, very quickly. I'm just going to continue on you. Get one of you dead. I don't know. When the creature dies, it revives at 30% HP. If the partner is still alive. Oh, okay. Okay. So I need to kill them both. I probably should start on the other one now. Okay. So let's seek out some cards. Zap. Oh, I have to draw them both, unfortunately. And there's the void. Hit the other guy. I mean, the claws end up gaining so much damage. It's not going to matter if I do or don't kill the other one. Because, like right now, they're all doing 44 damage. Plus the AoE. I mean, it's going to work itself out pretty much. Okay. She's at 102 now. Let me block. More voids. Voids are kind of annoying. Because I have to, I end up having to draw them all. Um, charge battery again. Sort by type. Claw. Hologram back. Oh, I didn't have nothing hologram apparently. Okay. And yeah, these are doing 47. I could reboot, but I want the void gun. 
Okay. Voyage of there. 20 strength, yeah. 28 here. Okay. Uh, beam cell. Fetch. That. Play it. I do have a ton of holograms. Let's play it for claw. Keep going. You're at 100 now. Hologram back. Or all for one. Yeah, you're dead. I think everyone's dead now. Okay, you're super dead. You're super dead. Fight's over. Continue with my rug. Double energy. I don't need it. Alright, we're going up against fat hands up here. Extra vulnerability. I don't think I need it, but... The Black Silence. Ooh, ooh. Nice touch. Exhausting number of cards in your hand. Add a rare card for each one. Uh, I just should do this just to get it out of here, maybe? Reboot. That's fine. Beam Cell. Claw. Claw. Hologram. Claw back. Claw again. Claw one more time. Okay, let's read what he does since this end up, like, might end up mattering. Every fifth attack you play, uh, instead heals a creature for 50% of the unblocked damage, it would have done. Not scars. Okay. Let's reboot the whole hand. Try again. No, I didn't like any of that. That's actually very much not what I want. Reboot again. There's Vim. And I probably can get to something different. I can draw a few cards for a while. There we go. Seek. Latia. Cobalt oh, Scars. Latia here. Refunds one. Vim. Twice. Cobalt oh, Scars. Hot Poker also is continuously poking this man. Go for the eyes. Alright. I think we're kind of set up here. I mean, we have the fairy in the bottle. Shuffle two wounds. Shuffle three dazed. Give me the dazed. I, I'm hoping I can just draw past them. It's kind of the idea. Um, claw here. Yeah. Hologram back. Claw. Play a claw again. Beam cell. Yep, he's just healing himself every once in a while, but... What else do you want me to do? I mean, I can't not attack him, so... Swipe. Hologram. I feel like I have way more holograms than I should. Defend. Ghost defend. And that's the turn. 19 block, too. Okay. The enemy has 25 plated armor. Yeah, that's fine. I can poke through that very, very quickly. Balls. I mean, assuming I can draw enough cards. Yeah, there we go. Hello, plated armor. Meet my 1,000 claws. Oh, yeah, they're all doing 48 damage already. Okay. Um, that beam cell, get all that out of here. More claws. There's another all for one. Ooh, my, my friend. Hologram back. Um, claw. And then we do this. <clears throat> There's a strategic way to do this where I count out what the next card is and then play claws or other cards in the meantime between it, but in the end, it doesn't specifically matter. Also, unfortunately, he had... He's invincible at a certain point, too. Five protection creature. Reduced by one each round, or shuffle two burns in my draw pile. I'd rather him have the protection, I think. Ooh, a void. That's gross. Alright, here we go. Ah. Uh, Charge battery. Charge battery. Oh. We ended up not doing as good this turn. I mean, next turn should be very spicy. Um, but we actually ended up drawing out of the draw. Uh, give me the frail. And don't want to be weak. Alright. Um, let's double draw here. Okay, and then do it again. Alright. Go for the eyes. Ah. Short. Type. Claw. Tap. Go for the eyes. Um, hologram back. The, uh, claw. We're still weak somehow. Charge battery. Um, all for one here. Thank you. 78 damage apiece. He might be invincible again. Oh, it's after 24 more damage. After one more claw. 
But I'll play three of them instead. He can't take any more damage though. But the claws still play for uh, increased damage, I'm assuming. Okay. I think what really killed his feral plan was my uh, 19 plate armor. Uh, I'll take the slime. That's fine. I have eight. Um... Why is my attacks doing zero? I must have been paralyzed or something. Oh, he's dead. Black. Uh, was it Black Silence was dead? Uh, yep, the end. You see him slump into his knees, tired and drained from the non-stop fighting. You see them sigh, breathe in, and let go. You see them let go of their hatred and fear, their anger and pain. You see them let go of their trauma. Of their lingering darkness that they nearly drove them to ruin. You see them turn away from the past so that they might finally face the future. The end. The library shutters. You find that yet another group of uninvited guests have invaded. So this is the impurity known as the library. The woman sneered. What a heartwarming scene of a man reconsoling with a machine. Too bad. This is where it ends for you. You see him push himself to his feet. The battered and bruised body of a man doing his best to protect the peace and happiness he had just found. Oh. Where the blacks the black silence? Uh okay. Drundel Crystal Atler. Zeok's workshop. I don't know what any of these uh Wheel in Wheels Industry. Alas work Alice workshop. And then we have four cards to draw. Got them up there. Okay. I mean... I just gain four strength. We want to gain the strength, I guess. These guys have 3,000, though, so I don't know. Uh, I mean... It seems like the most logical. But I don't know how this exactly is going to work. Because they gain five strength now. I mean, we just want to continue gaining strength, I guess. Apply eight bleed to you. Interesting. Uh, I have no. Oh, this is block. But our health is already pretty low too. And she's just doing nothing. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I mean, it was unexpected. Exhausted already. We have yet to even expend uh, any real effort. Executioner. I'll finish them. Oh, interesting. You have showed up at last. Have you met before? That's a relief to have you. I can't guarantee that I'll power through this either. Well, we'll have to try and stop them as long as we can. Be aware that joining forces cannot change your fate. Nevertheless, it's enjoyable to witness you struggle. Well, it's been a pleasure to spectate. We must see this place dealt with. And... And this just got more troublesome. Okay. So we got Gibberu. We just need to continue gaining our strength, I think. I mean, I'm not sure that that's the best move, but it feels like the best. Because if not, I'm going to die. Also, the timer stopped. Which is good for our run, I guess. Run score. And four more strength. Up to 12. Because we have multi-attack, so that's what I need to be doing. Alright, 28 three times. And this should give us block and damage. We're just not applying the vulnerability, I guess. Oh, she gained... 5% more damage. Oh, another cutscene. Ooh, that was cool. Isolated without a way out. What a pitiful situation. Though you managed to hold out longer than anticipated, what a shame it must be to end this way. Oh, we have another person enter. It is indeed true this verbosity leaves you vulnerable. Garyon, that is a name I have not heard in a long while. But such a name is not for me anymore. It took you so long, I was simply watching from afar. You failed your responsibility and turned your back on us. How imprudent of you. Though I suppose your accountability can be called upon later. I will tear you down your grave and extract you before long. I can only pity your vain endeavors to seek an entity whose husk is all that remains. Executioner, be prepared. Uh, it will take place any minute now. 
All right, we have another person in the back. Continue with what we're doing. I want to continue executioning this person. Two, three, and then damage more here. I am going to take the full blunt of this 47, which kind of sucks. None of my allies block either. Oh, man. Oh, we're going all the way backwards again. <laughs> Have fun. All right. Durandal. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do crystallize here. Okay, we're up to 16 strength. We're getting there. But he's still not dying fast enough, I don't think. Oh, she did 76. That's pretty good. All right. It is truly amazing that you managed to withstand for such a for so long. Garion, as much as it shames us, we fail to retrieve you. The end is nigh. This place will be expelled as planned. I only ask that you do not return. Don't mark my words well and stay where you rightfully belong. Oh, they got uh, a defect. Da, da, da. The territory expulsion procedure failed. The same verb verbosity left you vulnerable again. Though this was truly unexpected. You think the library could invite guests from other worlds? Such disorder can only reasonably be accounted for. Perhaps we were too lenient with this place. Executioner! Eliminate every single one of them. Oh wait, is this me? Uh oh, this is my normal deck. Wait, whose team am I on? Um, am I on this team? I'm so confused. Okay, I can attack them, I can attack them. Uh, 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 okay. Yes, I'm on this, I think I'm on their team, but I'm on this right side for some reason. Because they're all attacking these guys. Polymerization. Refuse the orbs, I don't think it did anything. Uh, okay. Let's do what we normally would and try to... Yeah, because these have the uh, the shield above them. So we are on their team still. I will bring some claws back. Let's keep hitting this executioner guy. Because I want him dead. Uh, we'll vum here. Or vim. I also don't know who's taking turns while I'm defending. Oh. That was cool. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but it's cool. Yeah, let's keep this out of the way so we can see. She also put on some cool new armor, which I like. Red mist. Okay. My goal is to try to not take damage this part of the fight. Okay, there's Latia. Go ahead and, just go ahead and go with that. Um, we'll just do it on a leap. Uh, let's get you vulnerable. Seek out here. Uh, cobalt scar. Actually, let's not. Let's just do the dual claw. If anything, we should cobalt scar and double it if we can. A hologram here. Get the claw back. Claw beam cell. You must get to take attacks every like once in a while. All for one. We'll probably end up playing through this again. Like, drawing all the cards again, but I'm okay with that. Claw's already up to 40 damage. Yep. And have one more energy left. Oh, he's getting another set of, set of moves. I think I'll go with the charge battery. Seems like a pretty good hand. Um, none of them are blocking, unfortunately. I only have 49. Yeah, I'm just gonna save my stuff. You have 45 and... 32. I might actually still take damage. I definitely will. I'm gonna take seven. Oh, I'm going backwards now. <laughs> Such a cool effect. I still love that a lot. Ooh. Eruption again. Okay. I'm down a little bit, but not gonna matter. There's Cobalt Scar. That's what I wanted to double. Alright, my dude. 44 damage per claw. And we're drawing many of them. Oh, and there's the all for one. 
That's going to be gross. Walk around back. Let's keep getting the claws. We need to keep two energy left. All right, we'll go for it now. Not as many claws as I wanted, but in the end, it's fine. All right, unless we're boot here. Oh, that was not as good of a, a showing on this. Why are we only doing like one and two damage? Uh, uh, I don't know, but he has 46. Should be fine. We didn't, we're actually going to take a pretty sizable chunk of damage here. Hmm. Ugh. We still, oh, he's, he died. That's good. Okay, I was hoping there'd be some like new dialogue here. Ow, down to 17. Didn't do it perfectly, but he's gonna start taking a fair. Um, and I actually am going to go ahead and drink this tincture this time. Just in case, because she is hitting pretty hard. Um, and I don't wanna like die by accident because I'm just being dumb and not using my potions. Battery, let's fetch. Game cell. Send a hologram back. He's doing another round, I think. 88 block. Only had a way to save it. 121. Ooh, someone's about to get hurt. I should have defended my team. Ooh, 101 there. All right. So she's still attacking my frontliner. Let's make sure to try to help defend him this time. Oh, there's the alpha one too. I gram here. Claw, 85 per. Oh, she has invincibility right now, doesn't she? Yes, she does. So I need to bring back holograms to bring back holograms. Yeah, we're not doing any damage, unfortunately. Let's leave here. Short. Yeah, I just need to, to get the block going. Uh, she's doing 33 to me. I want to keep everyone alive. Do 10. I can do that. That'll give me 35. Hologram back to beam cell. Yep, and then I can... Each claw is doing 100 damage, so next turn you are in bubble. I could have gave them some more anyway. Yep. Because yeah, she can only take 500 a turn. So, if anything, I need to focus more on my defense. Because yeah, I can play, what? One claw, maybe? Weekend. Ghost fetch. Zap. Let's go ahead and charge battery here. Charge battery. These will end up mattering a lot more than the claws, because there's a hundred right there. And now she can't take any more damage. She is going nuts, though. I think this was meant to be a longer form fight, but I don't think it is. Um, let's charge battery again. Go for the eyes on her. Keep the claws going just to upgrade them, if anything. Okay, she's doing 35. I have 59, and she's doing 27 to you, so we need to give you a little bit of health. Let's give you 20, actually. Yeah, I should still be good. I have actually give you 25, because I'll gain 32. So I'll take a couple, a couple points here, 34. But I don't want my team to die. I want everyone to survive the whole fight. That's my goal. Okay, and she's gaining strength and stuff. Another big hand explosion here. And she, I have to go through another turn because she's invincible. So let's double play anything that's going to give me defense. Give me the charge battery back. Give me the other hologram back. The eyes, charge battery, charge battery. Beam cell, charge battery. Just get tons of energy next turn. Because it's not going to matter what I play this turn because she is out of health. So, all right, we're up 62. Ghost fetch. That's fine. Doing 30 to her. She's not got a lot. And 30 to me. So one, two. I can block all that. There we go. Okay. Oh, down to eight. 
and my friend Claw. Man, there we go. Okay, we'll be all right, Roland. I doubt the head will be pleased with the defect of the defeat of the two of its agents. The head can be as displeased as it likes, but our story will not end here. I suppose not. All with a little help from far away. Shall we continue writing the story together? Of course, Miss Director. There are still there are still so many things both of us want to do after all. And why don't you join us, stranger? This story has enough room for someone else to be written in it. Don't be shy after all. Strangers are just friends who haven't met yet. Vic Tor Re. Two hours in. Let's proceed. Defect beta card art unlocked. 2,000. Beyond perfect. Three bosses about taking damage. Um, uninvited guest. 360. 2,000 right there from the, the Black Silence. Man, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Long, but fun. We'll try a different path next time. But for the first time, that's going to do it for this episode. The first time with a win. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.